Google's been the king of tech for decades, but let's be real. In the AI race, they've been tripping over their own feet. When ChatGPT exploded, Google's response was Bard, a clunky, half-baked chatbot that felt like it was trained on a 90s FAQ page. Then came Gemini, late to the party and dumber than a fifth grader. It was like Google was trying to win a Formula One race with a bicycle. Remember Google Duplex promising to book your haircut but sounding like a robot with a cold? Google was the kid in class who aced math but flunked the AI pop quiz. Until now. Google I.O. 2025, held May 2021, 2025, was a game changer. They didn't just show up. They brought a rocket launcher to a knife fight. From next-gen AI models to a protocol that could redefine how machines talk to each other. Google's latest releases are a bold statement. They're not just catching up, they might be lapping the competition. Today, we're unpacking Google's massive comeback attempt. They're dropping smarter AI, video tools that feel like Hollywood, glasses that bring AI to your eyes, and so much more. Please, man, please, write a prompt that will make us happy. Do it for once. Is this their big moment or just another misstep? Let's dive into the full scoop from IO 2025. Google's kicking it off with Gemini 2.5. Their AI brain, that's straight up genius mode. This thing's like your smartest buddy who's also got Red Bull level energy. Gemini 2.5 Pro is fast, pumping out 152.1 tokens per second, way quicker than most AI out there. Need an app coded or a tough question answered? It's done before you grab your snack. Gemini 2.5 Flash is even snappier, built for when you need answers like yesterday. Gemini 2.5 Pro scored 84.0% on the MMMU for handling text, images, and more, 92.0% on AIME 2024 math problems, and 70.4% on Live Code Bench for coding. It's topping Web Dev Arena with a 1415 ELO score and winning at LMA Arena for what people actually like. Flash is close, hitting 78.3% on GPQA Diamond and 88.0% on AIME all while using way fewer tokens. These numbers mean Gemini's at the top of the AI game. Deep thinks this dope experimental mode for 2.5 Pro that's like putting the AI on steroids for reasoning. It weighs multiple options before answering, crushing tests like the 2025 USAMO math problems and live code bench coding challenges. Compared to OpenAI's stuff, Gemini 2.5 Pro's got a massive 1 million token context window. 2 million soon, way bigger than OpenAI's 200K. So it can juggle entire projects like full code bases without breaking a sweat. It shows its work clearly, unlike OpenAI's sometimes murky answers, and it's cheaper with Pro's API pricing beating OpenAI's rates. Plus, Gemini's baked into Google's world, search, Gmail, maps, making it feel like your personal assistant, while OpenAI's more about chat apps. With 400 million monthly users and 7 million devs building with it, Gemini 2.5's a total vibe, powering everything from your phone to Google's biggest tools. Google's getting super creative with Imogen 4 and VO3, tools that let you make images and videos like you're a pro artist, plus their new flow platform to tie it all together. Imogen 4 pumps out photorealistic images up to 2K, with details like water droplets or animal fur looking insane. It's faster than Imogen 3, so you can tweak your art while you're still hyped. VO3's next level, making 1080p videos with audio, sound effects, background noise, dialogue, right from your text prompts, flows the glue, letting you mix images, video, and sound with simple prompts and camera controls to create cinematic scenes like you're directing a movie. Google's got Synth ID, this watermarking tech baked into both tools to keep things real. It tags AI-made images and videos so you know what's legit, fighting misinformation like a boss. Since 2023, they've tagged over 10 billion pieces of content, and the new SynthID detector portal lets you check if something's AI-generated. Imogen falls a champ at text in images. No more weird, garbled signs or logos. It's in the Gemini app, Google Workspace, Whisk, and Vertex AI, so anyone can jump in and create. Its prompt game is on point, turning your vague ideas into exactly what you pictured. VO3's a video beast, cranking out clips with smooth motion and audio that vibes with your story. It gets complex prompts, like turning a short story into a video with consistent settings. 
you can find it in the Gemini app for ultra subscribers or Vertex AI for businesses. VO3's got this locked. Your video's hero stays looking the same, no random face swaps or outfit changes. It's perfect for storytelling, whether you're making a TikTok banger or a short film that feels polished. Flows where it's at, included with Google AI Pro or Ultra. Standalone pricing for Imogen 4 or VO3 isn't out yet, but you'll need at least AI Pro to get in on the fun. These tools are making it so easy to go from I got an idea to whoa, that's a masterpiece. Google's changing how we connect with Google Beam, a 3D video call system that's like stepping into a sci-fi movie. Beam's the glow up of Project Starline. Starline was cool with its single camera and basic 3D display, but it was clunky and needed a big setup. Beam steps it up with a six camera array and a custom light field display hitting 60 SPS with super precise head tracking. It's sleeker, more portable, and feels way more real than Starline's early vibes. Beam's a huge upgrade with smoother visuals and better depth that make you feel like you're chilling in the same room. Gemini runs the show, adding real-time speech translation, English to Spanish in beta, that keeps your voice and energy intact, something Starline couldn't do. It's launching with HP in late 2025 for Google Meet, with Zoom and Salesforce testing it. Pricing's not out, but expect enterprise-level costs for early setups, with consumer pricing TBD. Beam makes regular video calls look like they're stuck in the Stone Age. Google Search is getting a serious upgrade with AI mode, plus some slick AI tricks in Chrome. AI mode, powered by a custom Gemini 2.5, tackles big, messy questions like comparing laptops or finding concert tickets. It pulls stuff from your Gmail for personalized results, whips up charts for sports stats or stocks, and lets you virtually try on clothes or track deals. Deep Search and Search Live use Project Astra to answer questions through your phone's camera in real time. And Project Mariner's agentic mode can book flights or shop for you. AI overviews, hitting 1.5 billion monthly users, are in 200 plus countries. It's free with a Google account. But stuff like deep research with file uploads needs Google AI Pro or Ultra. Starting May 21st, 2025, Gemini in Chrome summarizes web pages, explains tricky content, and soon lets you multitask across tabs. It's like having a buddy who's always ready to break down what you're reading or shopping for. Google's AI is doing some real good with Firesat and accessibility projects, showing they're not just about gadgets. Firesat uses Gemini to analyze satellite imagery, spotting wildfires as small as 270 square feet in minutes, way better than older systems that took hours. It's helping firefighters save lives and forests with updates every 20 minutes. Accessibility-wise, Project Astra powers TalkBack to describe images for blind users and new Chrome features for easier navigation. AI is also aiding disaster relief, like delivering supplies post-storm. Firesat's pricing isn't public. It's likely a government or enterprise deal, but accessibility tools are free with Android and Chrome. Google's juicing up workspace and developer tools with AI, making work and coding a breeze. Gmail's getting personalized smart replies and inbox cleaning, while Google Docs, Slides, and Vids get AI editing tricks like turning slide decks into videos. These are included with Google AI Pro or Ultra for workspace integrations. For devs, Gemini Code Assist and Jules help write, test, and fix code via GitHub, while Google AI Studio's Code Editor lets you prototype apps fast. Stitch generates UI designs with CSS HTML export. New ML Kit Gen AI APIs with Gemini Nano handle on-device tasks, and Firebase AI Logic supports complex apps. Gemma 3N, a mobile-first model for audio, text, and video, is in preview. DevTools are accessible via Google AI Pro for basic access, with Ultra offering max limits and early features. Some APIs like Gemma 3N are free in preview. So, is Google catching up in the AI race? Let's wrap it up. Gemini 2.5's a total beast, crushing benchmarks and powering search, workspace and more, with Pro at $19.99 per month and Ultra at $249.99 per month. Imogen 4 and Veo 3 with Flow are making everyone a creator, starting at $19.99 per month. Bean's about to make video calls feel real. Android XR and Aura glasses put AI in your face, and Firesat's saving lives. Workspace, DevTools, and Wear OS 6 bring it all together, with 480 trillion tokens processed monthly and 50x growth since last year.
Google's all in. Compared to OpenAI's tools, Google's AI feels like it's everywhere. Search, Gmail, Maps, Android, making your day easier. Their pricing, like AI Pro at $19.99 per month, is way more wallet friendly. And stuff like Firesat shows they're tackling big problems. Unlike OpenAI's pricier, chat heavy focus. Google's making AI for all of us. Here's the big what if. If Google pulls this off, cheap, accessible AI that changes everything, they could totally reshape how we work, create, and chill. But they gotta nail it, keep it safe, and make us trust them. What's your vibe? Is Google about to run the AI game, or are they still warming up? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and tell me what tech you want me to dig into next. Is this got you hyped? Smash that subscribe button. It's the best way to keep up with what's huge as it lands.